A mysterious phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder is devastating honeybee populations all over the world. Conservationists say some of North America's 4,000 bee species could be wiped out. Rutgers University researcher Rachel Winfrey, talking to VOA via Skype, says honeybees are not the only pollinators in danger. Uh, what we've found is that um, the native wild insects are doing about half of the flower visitation. A scientist with the U.S. Geological Survey, Sam Drogue, says bees are too beautiful to be forgotten if they vanish forever. So, with the help of a lab technician, he is making full-color portraits of them. When you look at our native species, you're talking metallic colors, metallic green, blues, um, blacks with um, heavy pitting, some are highly armored, some are red. Drogi is photographing not only the domesticated honeybees, but also many of the wild species that pollinate crops. He collects some of the specimens himself, while others are sent to him by government agencies, researchers and institutions across the country. Before their photo session, the bees must be washed and dried. Drogue positions them in a special white box that bounces the light, leaving no shadows. The photographs, taken from multiple angles, are merged by a computer program into a single beautiful picture. Drogue says his work has two components. One component is simply scientific, so the idea is it illustrates our identification guides, which are very technical and are going to only be seen by a small number of people. But the other aspect is sort of as a, a vehicle for talking about and illustrating all the beauty that is uh, the huge variety of 4,000 different species of native bees. Drogue says the detailed photos will help researchers by saving them time and preventing identification errors. Some of the pictures are available at the U.S. Geological Survey website. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.